the question arises that how to find an expression of any variable in quantum mechanics in order to find out an expression of any variable in quantum mechanics you must follow the three rules the rule number first is choose the variable you have to choose the correct variable correct variable first rule number second derive the classical expression of that variable you have to derive the classical expression which you are choosing in rule number first rule number third you have to replace the symbol of variable in classical expression with corresponding operator let's see one example in order to understand these three rules for example if you have to calculate or you want to calculate the total energy of any microscopic particle in a quantum mechanics then you require an expression of total energy for the microscopic particle if you apply the total energy expression in of quantum me con classical mechanics then it is fail because of that you have to derive the new expression which is apply for the microscopic particle so for that purpose you have to follow these three rules rule first rule second and rule third so here according to rule first you have to choose the variable so here the variable is variable is total energy so total energy is the variable so rule number first is uh, uh, rule number first we follow so we choose one variable that is the total energy because we want to calculate the total energy of microscopic particle in quantum mechanics so rule number first according to rule number second you have to derive the classical expression for that variable here we choose total energy so according to rule number second you have to derive the expression of this variable in classical mechanics we call that as classical expression so in classical mechanics total energy is equal to the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy so this is the formula so total energy in classical mechanics is denoted by capital h kinetic energy in classical mechanics denoted by v sorry kinetic energy is denoted by capital t potential energy is denoted by capital v so this is the expression that gives the value of total energy in a classical mechanics so equation 1 is the classical expression of the variable total energy here rule second is over now we have to apply rule number 3 according to rule number 3 you have to replace the symbol of variable in classical expression whatever symbols that involved in a classical expression that symbol must be replaced by their corresponding operator so let's see according to th third you have to find the symbols of variable so total energy total energy it is one of the variable so h is the symbol now according to rule number third you have to replace that symbol with corresponding operator how just you have to put overhead or cap on it then this is the total energy operator so this is the symbol for uh, total energy in classical mechanics and this is the corresponding operator in quantum mechanics called as a total energy operator so here h is the total energy in classical mechanics h cap is the total energy operator in quantum mechanics similarly kinetic energy is represented by t so t is also variable just like a total energy so if this is variable then you have to just replace that variable with corresponding operator by writing cap on it so t is the kinetic energy in classical mechanics and t cap is the kinetic energy operator in quantum mechanics okay now similarly potential energy potential energy is also an variable in classical mechanics so if this is the variable then we replace this variable by their corresponding operator so corresponding operator how we can write just we put the cap on it then it is an operator in quantum mechanics so 
this is the equation second so equation second in an expression of total energy variable in quantum mechanics how we can derive this expression just according rule first you choose that variable that is total energy according rule second we derive the classical expression of that variable total energy and according to rule third you just replace the number of variables by their corresponding operator how just we put the overhead on it so if you put the overhead on it then that is the operator if overhead absent then that is the only variable so here this is the only total energy variable and this is the total energy operator this is the kinetic energy variable this is the total energy uh, sorry kinetic energy operator this is the potential energy uh, potential energy variable this is the potential energy operator in this way you can derive an expression of any variable in quantum mechanics for that you have to follow the rule first second and third Thank you.